Here we're using one of the iconic weapons featured in Far Cry 5, the revolver. And you'll be able to customize those weapons by adding attachments or changing the color scheme and hunt the cult in style. Go Boomer! All right, Boomer showing off one of his one of his skills. This can really be a game changer in a fight where you're a bit low of ammo or you don't have the right weapon for the situation. He's a good dog. You know, Boomer's a great all-rounder who can support any play style. Even without your commands, he'll fetch guns for you, take down cultists in a fight, and he'll tag enemies and animals from far away with his keen sense of smell. The game being set in America, it was important for us to bring a wide variety of vehicles from pickups to tractors to big rigs like this one. This one is specifically called the Widowmaker. It's like a battering ram on wheels and is a great tool to create chaos and take down enemy vehicles or roadblocks. And it looks like we got one here. Let's do it. Pedal to the metal. <laughs> that boss bobblehead didn't even move. <laughs> We're so good. We got him glued onto the dash. That's it. Boom. So it sounds like we're listening to the cult radio station. I gotta say, some of their hymns are pretty catchy, Phil. It's pretty addictive. I agree. Now we're pulling up to Ryan Sun's Aviation. This is the home of Nick Rye. He's a crop duster and a family man. He's doing what he can to keep his family safe and keep the cult from getting his plane, but it looks like they've beaten us here, so let's jump right in. There's no time to waste. And let Boomer like kind of create distractions for us to get behind cover and help Nick fight the cultists. In Far Cry 5, you'll need to improvise and choose from a vast arsenal of weapons and find elements in the environment to take down the enemy. There we go. So we just took down the last cultist at Nick Rise using my favorite stealth weapon, a baseball bat. Sometimes you can hear Boomer growling when he feels a threat nearby. And Boomer is just part of Far Cry 5's living world we've built, where there's always something, or someone, around you whether you notice it or not. This means you'll always need to be prepared. Boomer will stand his ground and defend you from predators as there are a lot of moments for the player to hunt or be hunted. And we've built a deep ecosystem that represents Montana's wilderness. So, you know, we've seen ducks, um, a sturgeon, deer, and this is just a small sample of all of the wild animals that you'll encounter in Hope County. So now we've jumped into Nick Rye's plane. It's been in his family for generations. And with it, we'll take to the sky to destroy some uh, cult silos that are hoarding explosives. The world that we've built is larger than any Far Cry before. And for the first time, you can explore the world in any direction that you choose right from the start. In this demo, we're in Holland Valley, and this is just one small part of Hope County. Montana is called Big Sky Country after all. Flying is a great way to travel, explore the county, and scout out new opportunities. And also, blow things up. Look at that go! Nice work, partner! Go get the other one! Oh, looks like the cult has decided to intervene. That plane belongs to a Chosen. Now, the Chosen are elite soldiers, and it's their job to basically crush any threat to the project at Eden's Gate. So, we've done enough to anger the cult, we're going to engage in a little dogfight with them and show them what we think of them. That's right. Even in the air, there's a lot of opportunities for the player to, um, you know, find or discover or get chased by... Get by discovered. <laughs> or get discovered. Yeah, totally. Uh, hunt or be hunted, as we call it. But I think right now we are the predator. Yep. We got them on the run. They're smoking. We did it. Well done. So that's our E3 demo. Thanks for joining us. And we're really looking forward to showing you more. Thank you.
From birth, the children of the North hear tales of the end of the world. A battle so great, the gods fall and the nine worlds are consumed by frost and fire. But these tales are false. The gods did not perish. For seven years, our worlds have been devoured by death and destruction. Now mankind must rise and do what the gods could not. Ragnarok must end. <laughs>